Bum. Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. This is an excellent connection. Hey everybody, welcome back to Spirit Plays More. Spiral Knights. I was thinking about, I know this episode's called The Most Prestigious, but... I was looking at this gate, and I'm like, you know what? That looks like a prestigious gate. There we go. We have the possibility to get some frozen assets. And then once we do that, then we can get one, two, three compounds, followed by a jelly farm. So we have a lot to look forward to at the end there. Oh, it's Minties. Dude, I haven't seen a... This is, your, this is your your friends list. Peacewise. I haven't seen Peacewise in a while. Maybe we're just on at the wrong time. I don't know. Anyway, I think we're going to go with um, traditional... That was for loadout, right? Traditional arcade. Winter Grave, Bolt Edge, Final Flourish. Sounds good, except I always forget. we got to pop on this Gilded Griffin thing. So for some reason, I think that my flourish is better, and I can understand why, at least in my brain, why it is. Because the, the puppies, they teleport. But then usually when you get somebody in your party, they bring a blitz anyway, so you might as well just join the gun parade. I and mean, if you happen to fight any, uh, um, any fiends. I mean, obviously the griffin is the better version. Now, the, the prestigious mission for today is Heart of Ice. I was really thinking about it, but I'm like, eh be fine i don't i don't mind doing hard advice i also thought i only had like a 40 minutes to play but i have like over an hour so that's enough time to do a whole arcade gate i think do i have my video up to max no it's in medium okay the music is so ominous we do it fiends that's funny speaking of good stuff awesomely whoop that's not what i meant to do it's okay Well, Mike, you had your chance to be an influence. We'll see if it uh, it's gonna affect anything more than that. Yeah. Then uh, I mean, this is more of a power loadout for sure. In the in the beginning, I gotta get my my weapons straight here. In the beginning, like especially the first couple levels, I want to do all the danger rooms just because it's fun. Ooh. Perfect. Hit me. Just like I wanted it to. <laughs> but at the same time, like, it's obviously not worth the first couple levels. So anyway, how you guys doing? <laughs> it's been a uh, interesting week at work for me, anyway. I know I had, a uh, Jeez. I'm at half staffing. They, uh... You know, one of the... One of the I love my management team. I really do. I, um, I have a lot of faith in them. I tell, I even tell them, like, you're made in the image of God and I'm going to love you forever. There's something going on with my brain and my lowdown. Hello, Zelda beast. You just took that shot from me. But anyway, having a, uh, having a half-staffing crew, and not, I mean, not necessarily expected what happened expected to uh you know well perform at a high standard i try to help not necessarily expected to perform at the the same rate as we would before but you know they they promised me help i get it and you know what i i, I appreciate it when i'm promised help mike i didn't mean to do that but here we are but in reality, it's like everyone's short-staffed. <laughs> it's the nature of the warehouse, man. I don't know if you, if you guys ever work, work in a warehouse before. It's a uh, we we live in the snack belt of the country. Um, it's, a, it's it's like central Pennsylvania. There's like jobs everywhere for warehouses. It's 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 pretty interesting. I actually shot him with my winter grave. I can't get over this. So I I know why. Cause I'm used to having the um. This is my first slot, and the winter grave is the backup. Why did I miss with that? I don't know. Boom. But anyway, on to deeper topics, right? So I know I've been, uh, I think yesterday especially, I kind of 
maybe not went off on a tangent, but like when doing Neon Abyss, I forget what uh what always prompts to prompts the uh, the topic of conversation. But oh my goodness, we did it. We we landed right on it like we should have. It's not dying level one, huh? But we started talking about truth, which is you know it's my jam. Talking about what is true and what is not. And on, my, on the Discord, I, I, I'm positive, like, yo, what's more important? Passion or truth? And uh, I know I, I know my answer, but I like hearing different perspectives. And I, there's a young man on there who answered, who actually answered passion, which is actually a legit response. <clears throat> At least I think so, because passion, passion fuels a lot of things. You can't, like, what's, what good is truth? If you have nothing to drive it. But at the same time... Tr passion must be ruled by truth, right? This is in my Apologetics 101. I can't help it. It has to be ruled by truth. Why does it have to be ruled by truth? Because um, everybody makes the worst decisions in their life. Whenever they... Uh, good job. Ran right after him. Whenever they... Uh, are in the throes of emotion, specifically in pursuit of like temporal pleasures. Hey. So you gotta be careful with that. It has to be ruled by truth. You can't have one without the other, like love and marriage. And love, in a, especially specifically in a scriptural sense. Specifically, I would say in a historical sense, trans <clears throat> transcends beyond the uh, the specific like temporary oops that was oh I'm sorry <laughs> I overthought it this way you got you, you can do it now you're you're the better shooter that's the way back to the entrance my friend but thank you passion helps build up truth yeah man it's the heartbeat God breathed into us and then what does it say in Genesis we walked in the cool of the day or we walked with God during the cool of the day when things were not chaotic, when things were, you know, calm. So during the calmness, that's when he would contemplate God. That's when he would walk with truth. You know, I, I can only imagine what the metaphysical is. I really gotta switch my weapons, dude. It's bugging my brain. I keep switching the wrong one. Don't cha. Cha. Good morning, Asian guy. I can say that to somebody who's an Asian, and they're not offended by it, because they name themselves Asian guy. But I don't know, in this woke society, what do we have but people who are offended by the truth? What do you mean, you people? Days of Thunder, anybody? It's Days of Thunder, right? <laughs> it's morning for me, I don't know where it is for you there, brother. It's 3.35 a.m. It's the, it's the pre-run, or, uh, Pre-run gaming for a pre-work day game run. There we go. I got it out. So I'm I'm, I'm I'm one cup of coffee into my day. Thank you, buddy. Wasn't that a shot? Oh, we're doing it. Come on, man. Zelda Beast, you don't know what you signed up for. We do all the danger rooms. Let's go. Let's go. I spend all the money. I got nothing else to spend it on. He's got one gun. Okay, we got. We can use our winter grave. Here we go. He's got, oh, he's got the good guns, too. Is that a Sentenza? Dude, I'm in love. He's named Zelda Beast, and he has a Sentenza. Asian guy, I gotta ask. Are you really Asian? Are you from Asia? Or is it just your, like, heritage? Or are you offended by the same by the question, just like the per perceived woke America is offended by, the, by calling the Chinese flu the Chinese flu because it's from China. <laughs> that, was, that was probably one of the best responses uh, our president gave to people who just asked dishonest, qu dishonest questions in his press conferences. Why do you call it the Chinese? Because it's from China. Good job. Good job, press. You're really, really searching out the truth here. Oh no. <laughs> Journalisming all over everything. Yeah. Family from Asia, born in America. Alright, that's alright. It's good to recognize heritage. 
I mean, ancestry is very important. And Bill, uh, not Bill Maher. Was it Bill Maher? No, William Barr, that's it. I get their, their names confused. Uh, I might just die trying to min max this charge thing. Ooh. But he, uh, he walked it. Oh, jeez. We're out of here. <laughs> I gotta run. There's no time. There's no time. Don't, don't die by explosions. He brought a little pea shooter to this, this mass ensemble of goodness. I mean, I have a cannon, obviously, so hopefully we'll, we'll be able to carry. Yeah. Yeah, we're not dead yet. We do it? We're done? Is there another wave? Everything's dead. Freaking Zelda Beast, dude. It's my hero. I live in an Asian community, if that means anything. That's alright, man. Um, like, my, uh, my daughter is having a culture day. And, uh, she's like, what's a culture day? I'm like, well, yeah, it's, I guess it's a, you know, you got to explain things to people, like legit questions, explain things to people for the first time instead of them assuming knowledge. Kids are amazing when they come, when they ask questions like that. I'm like, well, you, you, you know, where your family has come from, things are traditional there. Like we're watching Card Captor Sakura and it's before like, well, I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say before agendas were being pushed, but it's, it's before like a giant narrative was being pushed on somebody. There we go. Like, we have to watch everything our kids watch right now that's on American TV just because everything is politicized, which is kind of... It's the world we live in, I get it, but there's no room for entertainment. And the same thing, even in this game, dude. We want to play some Spiral Knights. I can't help it. I put philosophy in it. But politics is a good part of philosophy. There's a philosophy of politics. Um, I have conversations with a good friend of mine, Tim, at work. But whenever we go to... Uh, eventually, it always comes down to morality. It has to. Because deciding what is right and wrong is highly politicized. Black lives matter or, you know, all lives matter. Well, they're, they're both kind of interesting <laughs> when, you, when you dive into them. Go to the Black Lives Matter website and they're all communists. I mean, straight up. <laughs> I mean, go look at it. You have, to, you have to peruse it. But eventually you'll, you'll find that it, it's just very weird, the agendas they're trying to push. I got my one of my friends has a shirt that says Black Fathers Matter. He's a guy studying to be a uh, um, a state cop, which I said is mis he, he he works with me at at, uh, at my job. And I'm like, dude, that's that's more. he's like, I didn't want to tell you this, but we were having some deep conversation, which um, it's time for him to do. You can't. It's what is that? That was the that was the smoke symbol. <laughs> Anyway, anybody that works with me, I'll always have conversations about them with, with God and truth. It's it's meaningful. Shame on this world for, for not thinking that, uh, you know, politics and religion, at least our culture, thinking that they're worthy conversation topics. Your heart cries out for this stuff. I had a, um, a guy who was a secularist atheist uh, follow me all around the village. So quite quite a large warehouse, but he followed me around the whole thing because um, I had work to do. But I was talking to him about the, the flood and about Noah and, 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 and uh, like morality in general. We were talking about the like abortion and how that's morally wrong and how you can't you, you can't like how you define life. It was a uh, but he was his heart was on fire for this stuff. I mean, there's a the the, the argument C.S. Lewis always puts is um, you know if if you yearn for something. It exists even from then you can even derive this sort of from an evolutionary standpoint sort of um, you're thirsty there must be water and then and, you know you're hungry there must be food but so the, so the same kind of concept goes with uh, um, you know there's more out there to life you know even even people who are close to death like my, my dad was you're still thinking about the future like life goes on without you we contemplate the hereafter we contemplate the metaphysical. Okay, we're switching our loadout because it's just confusing me. Come here, weapon one. There we go. It's Kaxdia. Kaxdla. K-A-X-D-L-A. Also, we got some... We successfully sold some monster bones. There we go. This is the key to my monetary success. In case you were wondering. Anyway. It's cat. <gasps> That's not a cat. Wait, 
Dude, it's been like a year since I've seen this level. I forgot a stone jelly just straight up spawns here. I just, I just, oh no. Run. <laughs> I forgot. Poor little swift strike. He had a good life. Oh. Cack saw us and immediately had to, had to change his clothes. I, I understand, man. It's okay. You change your mind like a girl changes clothes. See, I'm up with the, I'm down with the clown. I'm up with the the modern music, right? I understand about the the, the culture and its sensual stuff, you know. The little poles that it has, maybe. I'm not too out of touch yet. Oh, never mind that the woke left says, uh, you know, man and woman can do are malleable. And love is not a thing, it's all about lust, and what are, what are our songs talk about? <laughs> but, but, but the concept of love, it might be shallow in itself. Dude, he charges the gun and uses it legit, but then he gets bit for it. So, I mean, maybe still there's a little bit of learning to do, I don't know. Anyway, all I know is we have the coolest hat in the game. It's very difficult for anybody to tell me otherwise. Sylv has probably one of the best snow outfits I've ever seen. He's like a walking igloo. He can't really live in him, but he, he, he's got some girth, dude. I haven't seen this Grim Gallery in so long. You you do it. You do it. Yada. <laughs> cha cha. Dude, is that a. Okay. I thought that was another guy with the Sentenza. Eh. Yeah, da, 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 da. Good, buddy. I dare you to hit that. Which ah? Oh, that was, that was brilliant. It just ran right into the spikes. I don't have time to talk. There's, there's slimes following me. By the way, have you ever seen my party? You don't have to ask permission. Just come on in, man. Party's open for a reason. I was really that upset, or, or I guess that's sensitive about. It. I would uh, keep it locked. Well, I mean, this is this is the for me the charming point of the game. You can uh, you can get help. We're stranded, but not alone, right? I do like this music too. Oh, I'm gonna woke your face with my my beautiful surfboard. Radio on the bus goes boom, boom, shaboom. Boom, boom, shaboom. So, that's what, I'm trying to think of my life. Like, we're, we're, we're going over uh, video cameras, or uh, video camera videos. Because we have this uh, this camera we bought, like, it's back 2013, something around there. Back when, uh, you know, the phones were okay, but their cameras were definitely better as far as video recording goes. Now it's kind of... Who needs a cameraman? I mean, I got a... You want me to come in? I'll open that after he gets here. She gets here. But who needs a camera? Like, phones do everything. We got these videos from, like, 2012. My daughter's, like... My oldest daughter's, like, two. She's watching herself be cute. And she's, she is... She is overwhelmed by her own cuteness being tiny. I mean, this girl loves tiny people. And uh, just watching him sing songs and stuff at that age, it's it's so fun. Ah, uh, missed. There's a lot to love in this world, man. Like the arcade. Oh my goodness. We're starting your morning. You think of, look, look what I'm doing right now. Look what you're doing right now. We're, we're starting our day. Well, at least I am. Might be finishing it. It's been on, on the... Uh, where we are in the world, but playing video games out of all things, we don't sk we're not skipping meals. I guess they're not coming in. I'm opening this stuff anyway, cause cause I don't really use energy for anything. <laughs> Contrary to popular, I don't know. Please, I don't I don't uh I don't have a costume I really want to get. I mean, maybe you guys can think of one, but nothing nothing ever like spawned out of this hat like I love this this uh this whole western look 
but it stopped right there. The whole, even the gunner gear that's there right now is not a. It's, it's like, like him. Zelda Beast, you look great. Yokai Club. Isn't that like the Yokai watch? Yokai. Yokai watch. Piercing does like garbage damage to these guys. Why am I not using this? We don't ask questions. We just take our hits. That's what we do. There we go. Beautiful. Well done. Anyway. So when you say Asian community, does that mean uh, like the food is specifically Asian? Because I like Asian food. Oh no! <laughs> like yesterday. Yesterday was a uh, half price sushi Wednesday, which I partake whenever I remember, and I happened to remember last week, so I was very happy with myself. Or no, yet yeah, I mean yesterday. I like being happy. Most people do. Yatta. Like a village with a temple. Huh. I thought you meant like. Well, where do you? Where exactly do you live there, Asian guy? Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta go. Babu. A village with a temple sounds very interesting. It's a like small community type type place. It's it's all right. That's where uh ah we've, we've really gotten away from that, especially when you go go to the the whole separation isolation shut down the countryism that a lot of people did for a thing that's a little like uh rough cold I still can't get over like you, you look at the stats even from the CDC for the COVID and it's like 95% of the people die of this are over 80 turns out that old people die <laughs> I, don't, I don't know I know that sounds shallow maybe I just don't care about grandma I don't know no, I do care about grandma. I haven't seen my grandma in a while. Well, I mean, it took a bit, but uh, Blue Panther's here now. Malabuela. Buela. That sounds like a neat, neat area. Okay, Chittering Bros, we got this. We also got coffee. Let's go, boys. So one of the common questions, at least from like an apologetic, apologetic standpoint, is like, uh, you know, because Christianity itself claims exclusivity. The laws of logic also transcend, uh, you know, cultures. One plus one equals two, the law of non-contradiction, that kind of thing. So the common question is, um, if, uh, if you claim truth, what about people who are in, like, those remote villages that have never heard of it? Um, the, the, the shallow answer is, I don't know. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 but you can give, a uh, the, the, the fault there is, especially when you get into monotheism, is you assume that you deserve absolute knowledge of all this stuff. And if you, unless God presents you with this knowledge, and you are given... Uh, the fact that uh, there's a lot of assumptions in that statement that you're given you're given the fact that everybody has a chance and everybody like the possibility that everybody should at least be directed toward being saved or at least ascending or going to Muksha or wherever else that people may think that you need to go it also assumes people are have value so where do you get a value from a person like how do you how do you recognize this is well the uh you know, as Paul says, there's two books. There's the book of nature and there's the book of law. Uh, or rather, the uh, the book of history. So we could read the book of nature. The book of nature had a uh, had its time. And sometimes I repeat myself, so forgive me if I'm doing that again. The book of, uh, well, sorry, the book of the book of, the, of God, the book of the word. Whew, I got it in time, good. Whew, it was close. 
had its time, and that was uh, during the, the whole Catholic Church thing, during the Roman Catholic era. It was back when, uh, you know, Galileo and everybody would try to posit stuff that would go against, not even against, but, like, be controversial. Like, people didn't want to talk about it because it might endanger power and authority. Uh, when it came to the church, like, you know, the, the Pope being in power. So they said, get out of here with your science. Now it's flipped, dude. Now we have the uh, the book of nature in power, specifically with secularism in our schools. And now we're seeing the outworking of secularism and, and radical progressivism, because it turns out when people get educated, saying that uh, men and women don't matter, it's all about how you feel, take God out of schools, people act like this stuff later on in their lives. And uh, there's no transcendence. So anyway, getting back to the the question I gave myself, you know, how can you claim exclusivity um, when well, not everybody's heard the same message? I mean, Jesus Christ obviously only came at one specific point in time. How is everybody else supposed to know this stuff? You see that dodge? We slowly got out of the way. And that's a legit question. I know in, um, in it, it, it's, there's no, there's no simple answer for anything like this. Specifically when you're talking about the transcendent. These are, these are deep, meaningful things. And I'm gonna, uh, thank you. When, uh, when a lot of this, uh, when, when in the entire worldview, when everything's supposed to coincide with itself, and when you have a, like, when, uh, oh, you get into the, like, the, the closest thing we can do to analyzing the metaphysical is by having, uh, is diving into math. So, um, the, one of the questions posited to secularists by a Christian scholar would be, tell me how with time plus matter plus chance plus math plus chemical equations, I look at this word roasted chicken and I know what it means. And consciousness by itself cannot be explained. It's like a, it's like a different realm in itself. Being self-aware and wanting to preserve oneself. That's, that's like a rationale. The only thing you could do is put something down in the common denominator and say that, uh, you know, we are one with the beast because it's the only thing we, we really know. The uh, example we got from, at least that I've seen and heard of, from uh, the Saudi Arabian community where they, they basically Sharia laws, it's neck on the foot, or it's foot on the neck of, oh, we just ran into two of them all by ourselves. Okay, I guess we're going to be hanging out up here. That's this uh, foot on the neck of the people, because you, you have to believe, otherwise you lose your head. Because you're allowed to be a Christian, sort of, if you pay a fine. Last I checked, I'm sure your law changes, based on the uh, heteronymous culture above. I should probably do something like this. There we go. Yeah, whatcha? Ugh. Let's do uh, one of these. Oh, I tried to use my pill, but now I'm on the ground. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Come on, man. Just step on it. I'm trying to... Oh, my gosh, dude. This is frustrating. Get on the thing. Okay, jeez. But the, in the Saudi Arabian community, and now at the Chinese community, I think it's the largest, fastest growing church in the world. Um, but the Saudi Arabian community, that was all about the uh, the dreams they would have. And dream interpretation in the, uh, the Muslim communities is amazing. They, they interpret their own dreams, and, and they, a lot of people can find their way to Christ. And some people are just too far away from that kind of mentality, or from that, uh, whoop, 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 go. No! <laughs> We've done it. So I know this. Uh, the the example of you know God's mercy is um, I would say in uh, the book of Jonah. Where uh, so what does Jonah do? He's in uh, he's asked to go preach to the people in Nineveh. These people are horrible. Uh, I'd recommend reading ancient history about them. They they put piles of heads in the center of their village to celebrate victory. They'd march people through the streets by putting iron bars through all their jaws and then march them in a line. 
No, I'm, not, I'm not talking surgically nice implantations either. It was pretty. It was pretty, pretty rough. Oh no! What came first, the chicken or the egg? Question. You got me again. No. Oh crap! My speakers are on. But dreams. I know dreams in the Muslim community have been amazing. That and uh, just seeing the love of a Christian, because there is no love in the Quran. It's all about. Um, compassion, but compassion is always fleeting, and it's always based on pity. I have compassion on somebody because they're so weak. Um, what came first, the chicken or the egg? So what's more realistic? A God who eternally existed, crap, under the compounds. I mean, thank goodness under the compounds. A being that eternally existed, which makes more sense in a metaphysical world. Oh, there they are. Makes sense in a metaphysical world, right? Because one plus one always equals two, or something that came from nothing, which um, Stephen Hawking in his book, uh, not a brief history of time, what was it? Maybe it was a brief history of time. He says something like, you know, because the law of gravity exists, the universe can and will create itself. That's a that's a bunch of nonsense because that's like saying because something is always eternal because the metaphysical exists, therefore something will come out of something that's always there the law of gravity is still a thing so yeah a scientist can still say nonsense don't let them think that you can't just because someone's your teacher you, you respect their wisdom but you still have to have a critical mind once in a while you can't just uh but then we get to the sense of trust right so we if uh, if, if something is consistent something's a good law then it can withstand criticism you know, don't well, beware, beware of being in an echo chamber like Reddit. Reddit's an echo chamber, I would argue. Or, or uh, spending a lot of time on Facebook with just your friends who all agree with you. It's good to have people of diverse views because you can reason through things and rationalize. And, and we have a Polaris in the mix. Ooh, yeah. Hey, Lucky. Later, Tater. Yada. I, I like having, uh, to be honest with you, I had two really good friends that were secular atheists, and eventually their countenance just changed. Oh, it's okay, man. Use your Polaris. It's alright. Just don't blast the little tiny guys into me. <laughs> but their countenance changed. They uh, they started looking down, like frowning, whenever I'd enter the room. I'd say hello, shake their hand. And people I'm like, but the one guy I knew for seven years, the other guy I knew for like over ten. And eventually they're, I'm, they're, they posted things on Facebook that just were blatantly false and uh, anti-religious and okay, I don't know if they were uh, I don't know what they were looking for really and I'm like well can we talk about this and they just refused conversation cancel culture right they refused to have a conversation about what was true black catamans I'm gonna be honest with you Mr. Noob I, I, I might do the prestige once or twice someone gave me a black cat hat and I don't even wear it too much. Farming black cats is just... It's a thing. It's just not my thing. Just so, uh, just like hunting for costumes. I already have the prettiest costume. Why would I want to hunt for more? Now, if there are options... Oh, help him. There. If there are options to get more costumes, more cat hats, I will probably jump in. I'm not going to deny that. But I'm not going to seek it out. Oh, no. It's just not... Uh, playing this game for so long, dude. I don't I don't even mind the, the cat uprising. It kind of reminds me of a, the inner city backyard. You know, I, I can I can probably crack my window every night and hear cats fighting outside. It's, it's kind of like that. And every way it gets bummed. Oh, I farmed for 3,000 years and got one cat and no books the sob stories of hunting and failing i could probably use the raiment too but and God, honestly chaos is so much easier to make and get and it's not that bad i'm so sorry oh get out of there Jeez. i fell for him i had compassion on him yada i'm an everythinger i have chaos on 90 percent of the time don't let this beautiful outfit fool you, because that's all it is. And yes, I, I liked guns back when Shadow Sun gave damage bonus low. 
And that was the only thing that Gunners got. Something about being that guy. That guy. Ah! Get him. Oh, we did it, but at what cost? Cha, cha, cha. Oh, nice shot. Get props or props or do yo. That guy's just sprinting. I can't even keep up. I mean, if someone would give me a black cat, Raymond, I would not say no. That's a very English way of saying that. You look pretty on me. I actually like the, uh, what is the fallen armor? I used to wear fallen armor and a gunner hat in lockdown. It's not all about lockdown. But, I mean, lockdown's fun, man. When you're going for endgame. I cast fire. Yacha! Guy just taught, got tossed back and forth, yo. Wombo combo. That ain't Falco. I mean, that's kind of famous. Everybody's heard of the Wombo combo, right? Can you phonetically say your name? <laughs> I want to call you Malibu. <laughs> Malibu has got the guns. What do you think you're doing? No one, no one told you you could come over here. Okay, I think we have it fairly cleared out. Let's go. It's button time, yo. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Always used to the, uh, oh, my face. <laughs> the punishment of the, the oh, my gosh, dude. Can we, can we get hit anymore? I have more health if you would like to uh, siphon it from me. <laughs> Speaking of siphon, I was, was wondering about the uh, the concept of, like, draining characters that take your life. And I'm not talking about the, um, dude, look at that guy go up there with his little pea shooter. He's amazing. I'm not talking about the, um, Crap, not the hunter. The harvester. I'm not talking about him. Because I know he, he takes your health. I don't know if he, like, takes it for himself, though. Something about a leeching enemy. I thought that, uh... Oh, no. Someone's got lag. Maybe they're just hiding in a corner. Delicious. Oh, my face. You don't know. <laughs> Just Mala. Okay, Mala, I gotcha. Or Mala. Mala. Mala sounds great. Sounds, sounds phonetically awesome. Like malleable. It's a word that's been trending. Hashtag malleable. It's a... You gotta do some gymnastics with your tongue to make that one work, though. Dude, it took us 38 minutes to get through that first half. <laughs> wow. Anyway, does anybody... That's a question there, right? Mr. Lucky. Does anybody really need... As I type a whole bunch of W's in the chat, because I'm a genius. Does anybody really need black cat gear? It's the current hype. How many years has that been going on? It's been like six. Boots, 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 boots. I don't even know how much money I got. We got 26k. We can actually buy something here. Radiant Silver Mail. The way they got the nitronomes. I mean, if I didn't already have one, let's take a minute. Zelda Beast. Damage bonus versus Gremlin. Sacred and Plated. This guy hates himself some gremlins. You know what? I think it's time. Let's do it. This always throws the whole crew for a loop. Is there anybody left? Oh. I think I have to. I'm sure my brain works on this one, but let's put this, uh, this weapon too. 
Alright, let's go. Let's do it. If we get too paranoid. Hey, Tabor, good morning. If we get too paranoid. We can, uh, we can pop the sleep bomb down. Everybody likes the sleep bomb. Okay. Take some, take some treasure. Again, stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a happy level. When was it a fallacy of, of uh, conscious thought to believe that everything is really all right? Yeah, I know you're in California. Three hour difference. One oh eight a.m. Right? Ah. I was saying I missed my triglave the other day in uh, Spiron Lights Discord, and they're like, no, you don't. What a poorly designed weapon. And I'm like, yes, but it's blue. <laughs> it's like this one. This one stuns and launches you away. The triglave, for these, those of you that don't know, will freeze the enemy in place, but not stun them enough where they're hit stunned. And then, because you have a giant recoil, like, I take my swing, I do this. Boom, they're frozen where my sword is, and then they complete their attack, and then they hit you anyway. It's just, just like, such a bad design. <laughs> I mean, it'd be better if, like, it freeze on the outskirts of it, but when you get the, the weapon, you kind of know what you're in for. <laughs> and I work up, wake up absurdly early, dude. So I'm, I'm kind of glad I can catch you at the nighttime, I guess. It works out pretty well. Was that a griffin? This guy's my hero. My par used to be uh, 2 a.m., but, um, you know, I'm getting, uh, I'm not going to say I'm getting super old, but um, we're tired. But you can get burnt out with that kind of mentality. I always wake up at 2. You know, Self-discipline only gets you so far. What am I really doing it for? So, to be, to, to avoid my wife looking at me dead in the face and, and saying, go lay down, you need a nap. And I'm like, come on, I'm an adult. I don't need you to tell me this. But then again, I'm also an adult, and I should realize... Oh my gosh, someone opened it for us. I should realize when, when people are trying to help me. This is, uh, I had this conversation at work with a guy who's like, why you gotta, t I've been here for so long, why are you guys telling me I can't do this job? He was on the radio and he was giving everybody like an attitude. And he legit didn't think he was. Like he was just all sorts of snappy, being sarcastic, not answering. Radio conversation is very important in a, uh, you know, forensic area, like, that requires a lot of, uh, um, Darn it, why can't I think of the word? My English is, I, I, I need more coffee, I guess, because I can't come up with a vocabulary. Wait, uh, darn it. Not forensics. Anyway, op in an operations mindset, you gotta talk and be cordial about it. People ask you for things because they legit need them, not because they're, they're trying to be, you know, needy. Communication is very important. So we had to step in and be like, yo, you need a break get your radio off and he was offended like why you got to do this to me i'm like no no sometimes you need people to tell you this stuff you need we're, we're here for each other with good intentions be like you need to you just need a break man and i could but i couldn't talk to him right there this kind of goes back into the conversation about what's more important truth or passion when people are under passion they don't listen to truth when people are so adamant about truth you don't care about passion you kind of have a mixture of both but when someone's in the heat of passion you can't you gotta wait for them to calm down and this is a Especially when um, you can see this in children. My two-year-old, if she is, if she is upset, you cannot talk to her. You need to wait. You need to give her like five minutes. Let her calm down. This is why timeouts are so important. <laughs> you don't necessarily got to spank, but there has to be some sort of punishment till they're out of the frame of I don't want to do this. I'm like okay, well go sit down for a minute and then we can talk about it. Oh. Boom. Levels like this. This The music in this stage, I don't know how loud it is. It's not too loud. But it's, uh, it's, it's so, uh, like, it's so soothing. Help. I forgot what I was doing. I also forgot what the original point of the, the conversation was, so forgive me. Oh, someone's got a freeze bomb. Someone set me up the bomb, yo. Ah. Anyway, sometimes I go in tangents, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I am playing a video game. Calm down, man. <gasps> we got a danger room, boys. 
here is where it all comes together. Hopefully it's not a fiend danger room. Because for some reason, well, I know exactly why, but this loadout falls apart. I'm just like, run and valance, run and valance. You have to use the valance over and over again for it to be effective or just not die. What happened? Where's the... Is it up here? It's up here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mala. Anyway. Talking about communications. Yep. Oh no, we're doing this. We're doing this. Meow, 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 meow. Uh, turrets. Oh man, I haven't played this one in a while. I totally brought the wrong weapons for this. But you know what? The key to the turret area. We missing somebody? Oh. Yes. Yes, we are. The key to the turret area is actually not the turrets themselves, at least in my opinion. It's the herd of monsters. You need to get the herd. If you get the herd, then they, because they call it, they, they make you choose. No, 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 don't do that. They make you choose where to go, or they kind of route you in a specific area. So you need to, uh, you need to control the herd. That being said, I kind of want to have them right here so I can chomp them down and hopefully not get hit. But we got hit anyway, that's okay. Like, hopefully we use this, get our, oh, give our team the damage bonus. Light them on fire a bit. And then by the time the third wave comes, we'll be good and ready. And this is where the Polaris is actually extremely helpful. Let's give ourselves a damage bonus. Someone did bring an, a uh, uh, bolt, uh, darn it. Combustor line? Not combustor line. Crap, what are they called? Brandish line. There we go. We're probably going to get hit by this rocket. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 holy bullets. We got this. We got this. Yeah, da. Alright, there we go. Controlling the routing. We're not a herd. We're not a bunch of sheep. We got this. We're not buffalo. My dad is not a phone. We know what truth is. Truth is a bunch of little freaking ping pong balls coming at you. Alright, let's do number seven. Get this ready because they're about dead. I don't think that really helps. Yes, it does. Yatta! You better remember Yatta. So here's what we wanted, right? This. Holy crap. <laughs> ah! Alright, we did it. Come on in, boys. I'll take some damage for this. It's worth it. I think we'll hit one. Beautiful. Easy, easy. There's still an actual block left. That was pretty neat. Uh, don't go over there. I'm telling myself this. Okay, I think we're in, we're in the mood for a potion. Yeah. And drop you. Get the combo ready. Squish. Here we go. We're controlling the routing. Boom. Bunch of slow moving sheepdogs. Beautiful, beautiful. Open my Dude, how many pills do we need? From <laughs> my video card is suffering so bad. It's on life support. It's screaming at me. Come on, man. Turn your graphics down just a little bit. I'm like, no. I love seeing that scenery down there. I don't even know. Let's, you know what? Matter of fact, do more push-ups. Does that look even better? Yeah. I'll keep it on medium. I can barely survive. I'm coming, man. I'm so sorry. Go, Mike. If you can make that last a little longer, it'd be amazing. We, uh, dude, we have not invested in Mike. I, I mean, besides just feeding him till he has sustained equilibrium, we he, he doesn't have his uh his harness on. I think it's the still the default harness, the normal damage thing. We should probably get him with something. Maybe piercing. Think about my computer. Yeah, I do that once in a while. That'll give me to one of the uh, the philosophies in the total money makeover 
that I agree with is uh, you use things until they are done. You don't buy new every five seconds or years or however you want to look at it. Do a shadow. All right. Might be good. But we have the winter grave. I'm thinking, like, what do I usually need as far as, like, uh, weaponry, etc.? And, uh, honestly, I think piercing. Oh. It'll look pretty. Okay, cosmetics is a thing. But piercing is, a uh, is the thing. But, like, even these guys. Anyone else want to come in? Okay. Coming into the Sudoruska swimming pool. I mean, I do have a pur uh, purple drake, so I guess Shadow does kind of make sense. He's now black. Hashtag purple lives matter. I don't think he's black. Ah! <laughs> Back up important files before my computer dies. Dude, already way ahead of you. I got a, uh, it's okay, Mallow. I got a, uh, external hard drive, which we put all our stuff on. So I, I, I get it. And that, oh, I'm hoping that that thing, uh, but you can only do so much, right? Eventually, if we have a solar flare large enough, then, well, there goes every piece of electronic in the known universe, or at least on our planet. Like I said, more, has more to do with the, uh, um, not the sun, but the electromagnetic field surrounding our planet, but still. And the fact that there's so many things that we just cannot control that are so much bigger than us, just it's overwhelming, man. I love science for this reason. This is what uh, Isaac Newton said. What a what a great creator to make the world make so much sense. Perfect moral meaning extractors. I mean, that's what we are. Don't you dare teleport. Yes. <laughs> uh, got you, buddy. What are those? I have not seen the straight rockets here in a, such a lot, like, ever. <laughs> what? Uh, do we miss it up? Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Okay, we did it. Holy confusing. Lock him out. No, don't do that. That'd be mean. Yeah, dude, where'd those rockets come from? <laughs> that was inter very interesting. Maybe they they felt pity. But out of all... I'm thinking about the creators. But out of, out of all the things to, to change or upgrade, why that specific scenario right there? That, that, that just seems absurd. But, I, hey, at least they did something. I don't know. Also, go open the app. Whenever they say behind the scenes things, I hope they like in, my, in the back of my mind when they do updates in this game. Even though I know it's not all sorts of revolutionary, I'm always thinking I hope they have a new arcade room. I just see something and be like, "Whoa, I've never seen this before." Usually, lately, when I say I've never seen this before, it means I'm approaching the same area I've seen multiple times, just from a different angle. And there, there just happen to be, uh, you know monsters that I haven't fought and so to me it's like oh yeah I've never seen this before this per Mala your computer is in the future you're already like f like five enemies were dead by the time we got here <laughs> my combo is gonna work yes that destroys corpse also we uh we did get to the ending uh you know what I'm Mega Man. If you want to call it an ending, just shot myself into the spikes. I did the same thing when I was doing yard work yesterday. This is what exactly did you hit, Mr. Valance? That you just exploded in my face? Come on. Boom. Boom. It's probably more efficient to do the double tap, but I, we don't use the Mega Man blast too much, and the knockback's kind of fun. sit and wait it's like throwing a grenade into the pond the fish kind of catch themselves once the explosion goes off nobody <laughs> I mean crocodile dundee fish is like that so I mean I don't even know if that guy's still alive I can't like I can't even think of his name 
I want to say Hugh Jackman, but no, <laughs> he's like the American Wolverine version. By the way, what an interesting character to play Wolverine. Wolverine's supposed to be like five foot four. We got Radiance. It's a successful run, and Hugh Jackman's like nine foot seven. He's not that big. He's pretty, he's pretty big, dude, compared, compared to how Wolverine should be. Steve Irwin. He's red. Red. How did you type red instead of? T <laughs> no, I'm actually not thinking of Steve Irwin. I'm thinking of a. Uh, I, I forget what the name of Crocodile. The, the dude who played Crocodile Dundee. I forget his name. Maybe somebody can help me out with that. I missed. I missed with the combo. So the mountain failed to hit its target. Ah, there we go. Am I the only one with the sword here? Or perhaps. This uh, Tabor, I know you're 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 ignorant in the way, not from a negative sense, but for the ways of uh of the Spiral Knights. It's written in Java. Java is a unique piece where you can have a pristine computer and still have it fail to play this game because Java is just it, the garbage collection is is like we have to manually for for a Spiral Knight scholar, which everyone here who's listening to this is one. You have to manually input. An extra .txt file that's custom to your computer to make it even operate semi decently. So I mean, Java has its issues, <laughs> like like severely. <laughs> I'm... Hello, executive. I'm a male. Okay. Only ever use junk computers, so I can relate. Hey, cool. We're brothers. We're sisters. Like the Wachowski sisters. Oh no. Oh, you're Mala. Executives, you're Mala. I thought you said I'm male, by the way. I'm like, ah, because he's just reading too fast. You got a stream slate, sniper. It's okay. I don't mind. If I really, again, if I really care, the part would be locked. Spiral Knights is not such a widespread game that everyone's gonna hound to get into your room. I'm just happy I got people in the arcade, man. I'm trying to hit them with a mountain. Can you give me a minute? Let the mountain do its thing. Sometimes it takes a glacier a long time. That's why I miss the track late. I can make jokes about glaciers. Now it's just about like... Can you, can you start the charge? Thank you. Damage mountain. You might, the glacier would lock him into place. Amazing. Beautiful. Look at this. Prestigious combat. You want to teleport again? Boom! Mountain of the face. Not in the negative sense. Because you'd be like, yo, remember that time I told you to use Portal in, in uh, Catacomb Kids? Like 3,000 times and you didn't listen to me? <laughs> and I'd be like, yo, remember that time I also forgot I had spells? I get it. Oh, we're doing it, boys. Let's go. Don't be afraid. Step on in. We can jump in the deep end. We're, we're, there's like four or five compounds in the latter half. Let's go. Aww. We're, we're going to lose our, our token Link character. That's okay. Shock compounds. I'm going to go back to our arcade run. Or arcade loadout, probably. Unless I'm a man. Yeah, actually, I will... Uh, I'm just going to switch up the... The Graviton Bomb with the um, with the Sleep Bomb. There we go. I think that makes sense. It's more widespread. It doesn't sh shoot people out everywhere. And we have a bunch of neutral weapons. We can just make ha magic happen. I think we'll be fine that way. Oh my gosh. Speaking of Crocodile Dundee, that guy's from, uh, no, I want to equip it. <laughs> that guy's from Australia. My boy Grug. But he's been, uh, he used to get so mad at lockdown. And I understand, I even have a decent connection, I get mad at lockdown. <laughs> oh. Party's open most of the time. 
freeze bomb. Freaking beautiful. I love it. Freeze, sleep. I'm coming, man. Mountain. Rock, paper, mountain. Oh. Boom. Shockwave. 605 damage. Dude, sleep is a thing. What's your name? The Black African? No. The Black Knight. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> I want to name myself the White African. That's not even a W. How could I get that? Oh no! Don't type things! <laughs> we'll make them frozen and put them to sleep. They'll enjoy their cold nap. Da da! laughing in my own head. <laughs> if I wave to the white American. <laughs> Check your white privilege, yo. Not all Africans are black. Some are French. That makes no sense. I'm gonna kill this one guy so hard. Ba boom. No one else is laughing. <laughs> How about the white Norwegian? The white Swiss, Swiss? I don't know. The brown Mexican. There we go. If you saw my picture, you would be like, yeah, it's all right. Look at him. He can make fun of people. I'm the short white American. He's asleep, but is he? I got, I got nothing to be proud of. But on the intersectional hierarchy, I definitely am a little on the low side. I'm not a I'm not a tall African Asian bisexual, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm definitely a you know white American male. Five foot six. My hair's been gone since my mid twenties. Not by choice. God thought I was too pretty, so he took it away. I, I get that. Sometimes you don't need the extra looks. Like you got enough skill set, yo, you'll be fine. Oh, stop them for me. Boom. Boom. You guys look like you could all use a nap. I understand naps. <laughs> ah, I understand how naps are good. My wife, I'm not kidding about what I said earlier, though. My wife sometimes legit looks at me and says, You need a nap. Because <laughs> I'll stay up ridiculous early. Oh, I, that was actually a tangent I kind of ran away from. Um, six hours of sleep a night. That's, 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 that's what I get myself. Even if Whether I need it or not, six hours is good. Asians are cool, yo. Hey, you can be biased if you want. Yeah, if you have more familiarity with a subject, it's okay to be biased toward it. I am biased toward martial arts and the uh, oh, the life lessons and the health and everything else is toward it. It's, it's okay to be positive and biased in the positive sense. Now, it's different when you say all other forms of life are horrible, but you like you at least advocate in the positive sense. This is where positivity is great. You advocate in the positive sense of what, why a certain venue or aspect of life is good. I like a uh, Uncle Tom. Have you ever heard of Uncle Tom? He showed he he did a critique on how to uh, cook rice. I, I agree with him. Everything he said. I'm not the the best guy at cooking rice myself, but yeah, oh my gosh, that lady on the BBC. She cooked her rice and then dried it in a colander and then rinsed it again. And he's like, "Why well, you cook rice?" And then this lady, not very good. <laughs> Hey man, I oh let's just let's just use this because we're bad. I'm um we have half price sushi Wednesday. So there I mean there's different degrees of Asian as well. Don't confuse a Korean with an Asian. Uh this person from Malibu, person from Hawaii sometimes can be confused as an Asian. I I almost got my if I'm if I'm like the the worst thing you can do is just assume. Like if you're not sure, you you can have a different kind of a you know facial recognition and all that stuff. But if you're not sure and you don't want to offend anybody, just ask questions. How do wow? How do we get to the kingdom of God? Well, we come to it as a child, right? What do children do? They ask questions. Uh, no, 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 no. 
This is the time we want the bomb. What hit me? <laughs> These ninjas. Uh, please open. Thank you. Um. Ah! Uh, one more time. Ah! Run. Seven. Three. Bomb. Crap. <laughs> uh, that was not good. Run. Here we go. Immunity pill. We got strats. Vietnamese food not great. I wouldn't know. I don't know what, what kind of food is specifically Vietnamese. I'm just, I have no idea. I got, I got dead. <laughs> Crap. Was it you? You got me dead, didn't you? All right, it's Valance time. We're gonna play the long game for a minute. I'm gonna use that, thank you. Just cause this ups our dodging, How, we gotta kill that freaking, oh, the butterfly dude. The Silk Week. Help me, my robotic friend who does like 20 damage a hit. It's bad they don't scale as you go down into the depths, man. They're just hot garbage after like tier one. But at least, you know, the enemy might cling on to him and beat him up. Hey, we did it. All right. I'm definitely off in these dudes. Yatta! Yatta, yatta. Kaboom. Maybe, yeah. I think you're right about the sound effects there, Asian. I, I do kind of, I kind of key eye when I'm in intense situations. I don't know what me is. I like fish. I like half price sushi Wednesday. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you, I'm the guy that uh the second the Chinese flu hits, I don't know what kind of weirdo was out there saying I'm gonna boycott Chinese food. Even though you know, you even had our, our our own girl uh Nancy Pelosi saying, Come on down to Chinatown. I mean, I was the guy who went went and ate Asian food constantly. I don't have to cook. They make me delicious stuff. The jelly farm? Oh my gosh, dude. It's Christmas. But I like myself. I, I think my current kick is like uh, General So's shrimp. I didn't think such a thing existed. But it's, it's heaven in my mouth. And I, I eat it. I fill myself up to balloon status. Making my gut gargantuan. I'm still doing the same loadout. Actually, no. We need to change back. Gargantuan. And then, like, five minutes later, somehow my stomach recedes, and I'm hungry again. And I can finish the rest of my meal. <laughs> I love Asian... I love uh, Chinese food just because of that. Now, unfortunately, which I think is a giant travesty of you know, basically a sin against mankind itself, all the buffets are closed because of COVID hype. If there's ever a sin our government has done, and I'm almost dead on the first four monsters of the jelly farm. Good job, me. But if there's ever a sin that's just about unforgivable, that I mean that's it right there. Why would you ever do something that closes down my Chinese buffet? Well, I lost my old country buffet. They shut that down, and it's exactly what you think it is. It's a bunch of American cuisine. They can no longer merge. They're independent adults. They can no longer become one. You know, fried chicken, anything you would c consider American and um, basically like a heart hazard. That was what our old country buffet was. So that got shut down and I kind of cried myself to sleep one night. You know, I, I, honestly, what happened is uh, it, it was shut down for a month. I hadn't been, I hadn't been there for a month. So I, uh, I, I went to take my kids there and it was just gone. I was very depressed. When you, uh, so when you become an adult... I haven't reached that point yet. So rather, when you have kids, <laughs> you understand and appreciate the concept of having food immediately instead of having to order it and then wait for it. It's a battleground, man. With those tiny people there, hungry and fussing with, especially if we decide to let them sit next to each other, because it's our decision. We don't have to let them. It's, it's an absolute battleground. Stop touching that. Don't go over there. No, you can't be excused. Your food's coming. What do you want to eat? 
Stop hitting your sister. Stop playing with the ketchup. You don't need to eat the jelly. You know what I mean? It's like, what the... <laughs> Every time. But at the same time, so it might sound... It, it's fun. First off, they're tiny and adorable. So that prevents you from killing them straight up. Um, secondly, the dinner table is where re relationships are formed. You learn a lot of value, values. You know, kids screaming at you because their french fries are too hot and then crying because they burnt their mouth and refusing to eat them. My sister pulled my hair. It was an accident. She should say she's sorry. My question was an accident. Yes, she should, but it's okay. Forgive her. <laughs> but anyway, you learn to appreciate. You know, we gotta go the other way, guys. We min-max this area. We gotta go the other way. Trust me, I'll mow the lawn while we wait. Landscaping, it's a thing. Not in the perverse sense, but the natural sense. We gotta do this other side. Behold, more jellies. Apparently, a lot of people here are semi-ignorant to the jelly farming. Allow me to educate you. Ah, da-da, look at that combo. Might have, might, have, might have should have brought the winter gray, but I think we'll be all right. Anyway, I appreciate the sense of just sitting down eating food. I love it. It's it's amazingly time efficient. All it's right there. Even it, it even helps my wife, who's the most indecisive person. I've taken it upon myself to ask her whenever we're about to go get a coffee, and before we leave the house, what do you want to drink? Because if we go to Starbucks and she's not ready, you might as well go out to eat and then come back. And then she'll decide what kind of coffee she wants. Sometimes she, like, she even knows this and she'll just be like, just get something for me. She, like, I just don't want to make the decision. <laughs> because I know it takes a minute. Because it's it's almost like myself if I go into a in-depth philosophical answer. Why are we alive? <laughs> what is truth? The same kind of depth and meaning can be in the this in the sense of uh you know what do I want? If it's a question of want. Don't forget, dude. There's three radiants down there. So my end. All I know is one is follow me, and zero is help. I learned that from lockdown. Taunting people with guns. Ah ha ha! Come follow me. <laughs> And they'll get mad and they'll actually kill me because I still sort of refuse to use uh, auto target even to this day. Tabor, just wait. I'll have an episode where I do lockdown. I'll show you the built in aimbot to this game and how frustrating it is for a lot of people. It's the thing about Java also. Maybe it's just specifically with this game, not Java in general. But how the, uh, the latency affects different players differently. How do I feel about people using tech at the dinner table? Nothing has isolated people so much than tech. It does so many things to the brain. I don't want to... It's The episode's almost over here, so I don't want to... Or the stream, rather, so I don't really want to get into too much of that. But you go out to eat, right? The whole point is to enjoy and delight in each other's company and to learn from each other. Um, this is why salesmen are so important. But, I mean, if you went out to eat just to look at your phone, put the sucker away. Turn it off before you even sit down for a meal enjoy each other my my wife who actually is actually the biggest advocate for this like she wanted to come out to eat with me but i'm always inviting friends over trying to coordinate plans she's like but you're always on your phone and i had it on the table no turn it literally turn it off and put it away people are robots now i i, I agree with you mala this uh the whole green part of this like when, Z when zelda beast was in here i mean that's the reason i like legend of zelda it was all green and you're still fighting things Eating was not to die. Sure, there's the consumption part of it, but then, but then there's the communal part of eating as well. Eating with other people. I mean, there's a the social aspect. There's just like there's sociology. The dinner table is amazing. And uh, with the destruction of family, before that even came the destruction of family values and, and eating and sharing a meal together, consuming together, doing something together. Very few things in this life and can any age group and any gender and any build and any mindset do together even language barriers like think about it the eating together is 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 something 
truly amazing that's in this life. It's not like it's something that, you know, we just thought of. It's it, it was built into our, you know, the hunter gather right, the the mother father, child type relationship. Absolutely, I think I could use some more friends. Hunter, like the 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 strong help feed the weak, and the weak and everybody delights in the food. It's a it's an amazing thing, and it transcends cultures, and everybody can do the same thing at the same time. It's it really is kind of neat. I'm gonna go roll on punch because I have money to burn. It's burning a hole in my pocket. But uh, think about that. Even with your friends, if you have friends and you're together, like you just get or have them come over to play games or whatever. Try seriously, just go out to eat once in a while. You might learn something about them. That's interesting. Ask questions. This is how like this is how we reason together. And we form bonds that are lifelong. Or you discover things that separate you and you can work together. And this is you can't have a you can't have civilization without conversation. That's Neil deGrasse Tyson saying that. And he's extremely secularist. So in order to work together, you have to work through things. Cancel culture and all the stuff in the media. Um, and, and getting you isolated not talking with each other, destroying the family, saying you don't have to, what, what's the point of marriage? It's an institution anyway. There is a point to it, man. The point is you're staying together regardless. You make the promise because words have meaning till death do us part. Regardless of what happens, we're going to work out our differences. And the outworking of love is creation. Then we see the children after this, and you can, you can see this in the whole creation story. The outworking of love and the trinity is creation. And we delight in each other. So anyway, what are we doing? So, yeah, to be honest, I find it hard to have a conversation during meals. Usually I talk after. I get that. But here's here's where, especially if it's just one-on-one -on -one, or even in a group setting, while you're talking, everyone else is eating. So you can actually have the floor for like a good five minutes or so. And they're doing something. They're consuming and they're enjoying themselves. They're getting fulfilled. And they're legit listening to your topic of conversation. This is with the assumption that the phone is off the table. And just because you have five spare seconds... Doesn't mean you have to check Facebook or your messenger, right? What are you saying about it? If you bring your phone out, what are we saying? What are we saying about ourselves? We're saying your time is not worth my time. You are not worth my time. My phone, however, takes priority. So if you're about to have a serious conversation with somebody, don't take, turn your phone off, man. You're not that important. We're not all that prestigious. If everybody's that prestigious, everybody has a phone, then nobody is, right? A person in front of you is way more important than that tech in your in your wallet or in your in your pocket. Anyway, ASI, be slow. Exactly what I want. <laughs> anyway, I think I'll do it for this one. I'm gonna go get ready for work and uh, you know, enjoy my time. Thank you, Punch, for being ever so gracious um, and at least giving me exactly what I wanted. Um, so anyway, you guys could click like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I think I'm gonna do some catacomb kids tomorrow morning. Slime Man Rancher might take a little bit of a hiatus because we kind of got to the end game. Um, I don't know. I might have my daughter pop in here once in a while. But I know we got Nia and Abyss this afternoon, probably about 10 hours or so from now, 11 hours from now. Oh, we're going to have overtime. So it's probably going to be like 13, 14 hours from now, Nia and Abyss, because it's, it's today's tech day with the kids. So we'll probably do that. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate having you guys here and giving me a hearing.